This video is about how to show a 3D text as an alert for your Twitch streams using OBS Studio in Polypop. If you don't know what Polypop is, please go watch my introduction video about it. All you need to know for now is that it's basically OBS except you're running in a 3D environment. It is its own broadcasting software. The advantage with it is that it's connected through Twitch's API, so it gives you access to your channel points and stuff like that. So you can trigger things with channel points, with alerts, with subs, cheers, host, whatever. Polypop is pretty intuitive, so hopefully this will be a short video. So we'll get to it right after a quick message from our sponsor. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Owned Pro, as you know, is the service that allows you to have access to everything you need as a live streamer. But wait, something new just happened with Owned Pro. On top of the 600 plus premium overlays that are available in multiple languages, on top of their one click overlay and alert installer, on top of the chatbot that they give you, there's this new tab on your dashboard, which is the Epidemic Sound collaboration with Owned Pro providing you with DMCA free music so you can live stream and play music in the background with this big big list of music genres. Check this out there's even a sound effect tab. Now the basic version of Own Pro is free but if you upgrade you will get full access to Epidemic Sound. But don't get too scared about the prices because if you enter code GALE then go to checkout, you will get a whole 50% off. So I'll let you check it out at own.gg slash pro. That is O-W-N-3-D.gg slash pro. So here we are in Polypop. Once again, please watch the introduction video so you can know where everything is. But basically, I'm going to go top here. I'm going to add a new scene just to make sure that everything is clean. And we're going to add a text. Later, we will be able to choose if we want the text to appear with an alert or with a channel point reward. So let's click the plus under our scene layout here. And we are going to find the text thing. You can put 2D text if you want, but let's go with 3D text because that's the whole point of Polypop, right? Click 3D text. And here you can either just add it as a normal 3D text or as a particle emitter or a 3D object emitter when you click add as. I like doing that because I can just set the particle number to one and I can directly like shoot it out. I like when things are bouncing and there's like real gravity simulation basically. So I'm gonna add it as an object emitter. So this is not just a 3D text, it's a whole Thing. The burst count is set to one and then the lifetime, you can change that right there. And let's say I want it to stay for five seconds or six seconds or three seconds for the tutorial, right? Now let's go and find where to change the text because maybe we don't want it to, to, to say 3D text. Let's go down to objects. We will see 3D text and this is where you change the text. Now in my own stream, I have a channel point redemption that is like the emotional damage sound. RIP Azure, Azure producer. Emotional damage. <laughs> and I have a text that says it. So here we can put whatever we want. We can put, for example, here you can change the font. So if you have some cool fonts installed, you can also change them to things like that. But try to keep it very visible. You know, if you want to go cliche, you can go with impact. Impact is a good font. And of course, you can change the color by just clicking here and then dragging it like that. Alrighty, now we're going to clear objects and just basically play around the gravity so that every time it does the burst, since you know it's kind of realistic, it's a simulation, right? It doesn't flip the word so that the word is really visible. So emit burst, it it hits the top and then it does a bunch of rotation. Maybe we want it to go straight down, right? Since it's an object emitter or a particle, if you will, there must be some physics options somewhere. So under objects, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find mods, I'm gonna find physics, and this is where I have options like fixed or mass, bounciness, if you want it to bounce all around, then you will have force. And we are going to basically test out, I always forget which force I want. I think it's going to be the Y axis, but um, only one way to know. Emit burst, and if I pull this, it goes up and if I pull down, it go down. No, it don't. It do go down. All right, so Y axis, you want to pull that down and emit again. See what it does. There we go. It kind of forces it to stick to the bottom. So whatever happens, maybe it'll stay upright. Uh, if you want to add another force, I'm guessing probably the Z axis. That is the back and forth, I think. I'm not sure. It's not like I do. I, I work with 3D programs all the time. And we're going to test that. I'm just bringing it down. Boom, these nuts. Okay, that brings it there. Let's bring it back even more. And actually, I don't like those results. So maybe the opposite way. Let's, let's go with a positive number and see what it does. 
So this one is basically drops, right? Just imagine that we're looking at from the front view in a way, but there's a limit. We're in a box right now. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit, a little too much. But just a little bit of force on this Y axis. There we go. So it pulls it back so it stays upright. And that's it. You know, that's it for the, <laughs> for the particle aspect of it. Now, since it has a lifetime, meaning it disappears after three seconds for us now, it's going to be easy. We're not going to have to like activate, deactivate, whatever. All we need is on an action like channel point redemption or maybe an alert. We want it to just emit burst. So it's just one button. Then we can just do one drag and drop and then we're good. All right. Now, if you're just using Polypop, click open library. Maybe you don't have your Twitch connected yet, right? So all you need to do is click on the plus here and go to Twitch alerts and then it will tell you, hey, you need to connect your Twitch, blah, blah, blah. All right. You're just going to click authorize. And then in a couple seconds, just like in my main video, it's going to connect it. Now, when you get a new follower, you can go ahead and click this and it will limit the burst. I really need to remember to delete it before I go live because that would be a little a little funny. All right. So here you can test your new follower, new follower. And that's it. You're pretty much done. Now, if you want to add whatever, uh, maybe you want to add like a particle burst. I think they already have some particles here. For example, I clicked on the plus on the layout. Click uh, add. Boom, and basically this is what it does, and all you have to do is emit burst. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. Maybe chill a little bit. Since this one is a preset, basically what this does is that it just continues forever. The lifetime is for each particle, so it's actually emitting each and every particle here, which is kind of wild that a soft, the broadcasting software can do that, but it doesn't matter because um, we're going to turn it on and off just to show you all the possibilities that you can do. Okay, let's go back to our uh, Twitch alerts on their library here, and we're gonna drag that new follower thing. So right now it has, it is connected to our text, right? The, the 3D text and it's connected to my other stuff. You don't need to know this. If I drag here up top, we're gonna see action sequence, okay? Now, if I wanted to unlink it with the 3D text, I can just click here and then boom, unlink, right? And that way I can also just add everything into an action sequence. That is if you want multiple events to happen with one action, right? So plus emit alert. What alert would that be? That would be to emit burst on our 3D text, right? I wanted to do this. But I also want to activate those particles because I can turn them off and then turn it on, right? This is something that is always on. I'm going to drag this and I'm going to drop it on active. Now it will ask me, do I set it on or do I set it off? I'm going to click set to on. So when the alert happens, it sets it on, but it stays on forever. So how do I shut it off? I will click plus. I will put a wait and now I can set it to whatever timer I want. Maybe I want it to just last three seconds, just like our text, right? Boom, wait three seconds and then emit another alert. What would that alert be? The same thing. You drag it to the active and now you set it to off. So let me manually deactivate it and then test new follower. What would happen if I had a new follower? I can even close this. I don't even have to, to watch this happen, right? New follower, boom and disappear. Polypop is super, super simple. Now let me show you real quick how you can add Polypop to OBS because I don't use Polypop itself as a broadcasting software because uh, it is in beta, it is brand new, and it's missing a couple of things to make me completely comfortable with streaming just with Polypop. Uh, maybe in the future I will do the complete switch, but not right now. So when you have OBS open at the same time as Polypop, it creates a VCAM, a virtual cam, if you will, at the bottom here. So, so all you would have to do is open up OBS Studio. Let's create, let's put it on a new scene. So I'm gonna click the plus under the scenes list click OK and let's click plus and we're going to add it. Oh, you guys can see this and then under source, you can click the plus to add a new source and it's going to be a video capture device, right? It's not going to be a display capture or anything like that. You can call this one poly pop in the list of your cameras. You will find poly pop camera. OK, now this is where it might get a little complicated, um, but do not worry. You do need to go down here and set the resolution to custom. All right, you're going to go with 720p, right? And then under video format, you need to pick ARGB. Now it's transparent, okay? So now if I go to Polypop, right? And let's say that I test my alerts. Boom, there it is. I can drag this to make it fill the screen. Again, boom, and it's transparent. 
right? In order to show you that it's transparent, I went ahead and added a display capture. I'm gonna open up Polypop. I'm gonna test new follower. Boom, it goes up. And as you can see, completely transparent. So if you wanna put it over your webcam, over your intermission screen or anything like that, you absolutely can. It is that easy. I love making videos on Polypop. I'm not gonna lie. If you would like to see more tutorials like this one about Polypop and all the functionalities, please let me know in the comment section below. And also please go watch my other videos on the subject. Another thing that I'm gonna ask you to do is go follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming four times a week now. So now is the, the time to come in and hang out with me and talk about content and all that good stuff. If you missed one of my most recent videos, I dropped a free overlay pack that you can find over at gumroad.com slash get level. And then I'm gonna tell you to subscribe, to like, to do all that good stuff. But most importantly, to have a good day and to go out there to make me proud because get level is out. <laughs>